Do you love using Canva and you've been wondering about ways that you could actually turn your Canva designs into income by selling them online? Canva is a great way to create products easily and then turn them into things that you can sell and make money on Etsy. Now, if you're not too familiar with Etsy, Etsy is a large online marketplace, similar to the way you search for products on Amazon, for example, and people go to Etsy specifically to search for different types of handmade or digital products that they need. Etsy is really great for being able to list products, sell them, and have them delivered automatically to the customer without you having to email or send files back and forth or even maintain your own website. So how do you create designs in Canva to sell them on Etsy? What are the rules? How do you actually make money on them? And what do you need to actually run an Etsy shop? So in this video, we're gonna cover all of that and I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to make money on Canva by selling on Etsy. You might be wondering, can you actually sell Canva designs on Etsy? The answer is yes, but they have to be your designs. You can't sell anything pre-made so you can't Find a cute design on Canva, download it, and then upload it as if it's your own design and sell it on Etsy. It's not considered your own work, so it's against Etsy's policies and it's against Canva's terms of use. So you need to create things that you design yourself to resell on Etsy. And any of Canva's free content, not Canva Pro, but any of their free content or designs that you create yourself, including fonts, shapes, graphics, designs, sounds, videos, anything within their free content can be used to create your designs, combine multiple types of free elements and put them together and sell them on Etsy. So as long as you're within this terms of service requirement from Canva that you can only resell designs created using their free products and free elements, then you can sell them on Etsy. Digital downloads are extremely popular to sell on the Etsy platform, and I actually recommend that you use Canva instead of another software like Photoshop, PowerPoint, or Illustrator, because your customer, your end user, is probably gonna be more familiar with Canva, so they'll find it easier to use, and therefore, more likely to buy your product. Some of the most popular Canva products to sell on Etsy include party invitations, digital planners, types of organizers like household organizers, budget organizers, or kids activities, coloring pages, journals, digital stickers, printable stickers, and even other types of workbooks that are very niche specific, like wedding planning workbooks or maybe motivational or spiritual workbooks. There is a huge range of different products you can create and different designs and styles that you can do on Canva to make money on Etsy. So the very first thing you need to do is research on Etsy what types of products you wanna to create to design and sell. There are a lot of different digital products that you could be selling on Etsy. And it's important to research what types of things sell well within your niche, but you can do this for free to get started. So just by typing in digital, I can see a lot of different types of products that are here. Let's start with digital planner and just get some ideas of what type of products within the planner niche, for example, that you could be creating. So after typing in digital planner, I see I could be making stickers, I could be making something for teachers, ADHD. Let's put in ADHD to get a little bit more specific. And right away, I see basically three different types of planners people are searching for. Planners for kids, undated planners, and planners for students. Let's also take a look at some of the types of products that people are selling so that we get an idea of what we could be making to fit this niche. So for example, we can see that within this ADHD digital planner search on Etsy, we can see there are a lot of different styles, growth mindset, mindset work seems to be a common type of planner that people want. A lot of the planners are also hyperlinked, so maybe you want to really think about how the planners would be used. We can also continue to narrow down the search or just take a look at some of the different products available. So this is a bestseller, for example, it probably is made in Canva. And what I can see is that each of these are printable pages that include things like habit trackers, monthly planners, daily sleep, tracking mood, checking meal plans, really including things like to-do lists and self-care. And by researching other people's products on Etsy, what I begin to see is what I might need to include in my own products. 
Here's another example where this is a home management planner for ADHD. And these are all printable pages that can be purchased by customers and used to help keep track of their routine. Now, ADHD is obviously just one niche of many. You also don't have to do planners. You could be doing things like party invites or digital journals or worksheets for kids. There's so many different things that you could do. But the best way to get started creating designs on Canva to sell and make money is by doing a little bit of research on Etsy on how these products are used and what kind of products are popular. Once you've decided what types of products you want to create and what styles you want to make them in, it's time to start designing them in Canva. Remember to not start with a pre-made template, but rather start with your own blank design. And it's best to start with the right size from the very beginning. So know what size you are going to create your final product in before you start designing. You can add your own clip art, your own drawings or designs, or any of the free Canva elements. You also wanna make sure your design looks high quality and professional and is easy for people to use. So if you're still not sure what elements you're going to need, do some research on what type of features and what style and layout similar digital products have on Etsy. So go and spy on your competitors and see how they are laying out these kinds of products. Now we don't wanna copy them exactly, but it's good to get a sense of what is the norm, what do people expect when they buy this type of product on Etsy. Once you're finished, you can export your design in the right file type. Make sure that you know this too, whether you need to sell your design as an SVG, a PNG, a PDF, or or any other type of printable. You can also sell Canva templates or you can create a PDF in Canva that has a clickable link to a larger file folder. If you're selling, let's say, a bundle of files together, you can create a PDF within Canva. Customers can click on the link within the PDF that takes them to a Google Drive or Dropbox folder with all of your designs in it. The next step is preparing your product to start selling. The first thing to start considering are your listing images. These are the images that are going to show people what it is that you are selling them. And the images are important because they really do show people what it is, but also whether or not they're going to buy it is going to be decided entirely based on those images. That's why they're so important. So with digital products, you wanna find great mock-ups that make your designs look the most professional rather than just putting a simple image of your product up. A mock-up is going to make it stand out and look more uniform to other digital downloads on Etsy. So a mock-up is something that makes your digital product appear real, basically, because you put that digital product into a mock-up that looks like a computer, a smartphone, a tablet, or a printable guide to help customers understand what it is they're getting and how they're going to use it. You can create your own mock-up templates in Canva, or you can download some for free, or even purchase them from other Etsy sellers on Etsy. You also need to consider pricing for your digital download, and the best way to start is to research what other people are charging for similar digital products on Etsy. And we have a few other videos here on our YouTube channel where we break down how to price your digital and printable products. So as you can see, there are a few steps involved in researching what type of products to sell, creating your designs, then researching things like product presentation through mock-ups and pricing based on customer and competitor research. There are definitely a few steps involved in creating Canva designs to sell on Etsy, but it is a great way to make passive extra income online and anyone can learn how to do it. You don't need any graphic design skills or special skills to be able to sell on Etsy. And it can be fun and rewarding to sell on Etsy and put your designs that you enjoy creating on Canva out into the world. So if you wanna learn more about creating printable and digital products to sell on Etsy or how to make more sales in your existing Etsy shop, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel.